Hello guys, it's Switch here with another Magic the Gathering game and it's work in progress, which I shouldn't have done. I mean this video, I just shouldn't have done this video just simply because... First I supposed to test the deck and then I supposed to play the deck and probably the best idea is just to first jump and introduce the deck and then play, but this is like a total work in progress. I used to play just one game, so I just done like a one or two games. Uh, so probably this deck doesn't work at all, although we just having the 4 mana. I'm just going to start with it. We'll see what's going on. So we have 2 mana fixing. Uh, I'm just going to grab the blue mana in order to somehow, some way do some counter spells. Um, so yeah, there we go. And with the blue mana. I mean, we can choose whatever we like from the plain island and the swamp. So we're just going to grab the island. So that will do um, the mana curve for the two mana. Although it's a white winnie, so I reckon there's not really going to be much on the other spells than the creatures. So the idea of this deck is actually to play on the turn three the card, which I don't remember. But when I draw, I will explain. Actually, we're having something to counter, so that's, that's good then. It's really good. Because um, he just tap out, we counter the spell, and it's nothing going on right now, so that's really, really good thing. Um, having lots of lands, which in some cases it's fine. Um, right, we can draw the another land to make it thinner the deck. It's uh, 3 mana, and then 4 mana, and then 5, I suppose so, so we're just gonna do like that, like so. Uh, we can grab the swamp, it doesn't really matter, does it? Because we don't really have a duress on the hand anyway, so... What I'm trying to say, this mana is not important, but still. Um, although, by using the Obscura storefront, we're getting one life, which is nice. But, um, as you can see, right now it's like a big threat. I don't know, I'm running, actually, deep <laughs> Um Yeah, that's the funny thing, like, I know, uh, supposed to be explanation on the deck before, but I think it's like, ah, why not? I was just thinking like, ah, why not, I'm just going to records, right? And I'm recording. Jesus, I don't know what's that, the voice of the blast, it's uh, something good, right? Whenever you gain life, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the voice of the blast. Yeah, 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 as long as the voice of the blast has four or more counters, has a flying and vigilance, as well as well. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, as long as the voice of the blast has ten or more, okay, that's never going to happen, right? Um, so we have three mana open for this beauty, which is the void rent. So um, what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to play the tap land, although we can cycle this land. But we need still mana. I'm just going to play this one. It's a tap land. I'm just going to press next, end of turn. With the end of the opponent turn, we're just going to play the Void Rant, which is this beauty. Although the idea of this deck is not really like... I mean, it's sort of control. Well, supposed to be as per control or whatever. But... Ideally, we're supposed to play the card for free mana, which I forget the name. And then he's going to attack, and we can actually just do something like that. Because why not? I can be countered, although he don't have any counter spells, but I just saying. And right now we can play the tap land, or we actually can play the dragon, which is much better stuff. With 3, 4 and 5, so we're just going to play the dragon. And the dragon is just basically a creature, yeah. <laughs> that's obvious, but that's, this is not what I was trying to say. This is basically the one way to be able to put something from the deck on the table, and by something I mean we can actually see uh, top 7 cards when the dragon is dead and then take the tournament with mana value 4 or less, or a couple tournaments with that mana value, all together into B4. Okay, so we have the 5 mana, yeah. 5 mana, we need 6 mana. We need six mana, so we need uh, another land. Well, I think I might just play this. Just like so. And the crack the land. To draw the land. <laughs> to draw a card. 
Uh, we'll see about that. I'm just going to attack. Um, no, because it's nothing happening, to be honest. So we're just going to end of turn. And the turn, we're having the negate and we're having the test of talents. Alrighty. I mean, it's going to play the Wandering Emperor just because why not? And just do the plus one. Be mana tapped. Hopefully, it's not nothing going to happen, and it's nothing going to happen. Uh, so right now we can crack the land. Okay, we tapped like really hard. I'm just going to do plus one here. But maybe that was a, my mistake. I shouldn't down like that, but oh well. Although, like I said, this dragon is not important. This dragon is just basically the tool to pick up the cart. We have the angels, okay. It's not really like a big deal, isn't it? I just don't remember do I actually playing the... Do I playing the depopulates or not? We can actually crack the portal to get this dragon back, which is nice. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm obviously going to plus this attack with it. Yeah, so they tried to do like so. And right now, I can actually decide to remove one angel. So our dragon is still on the battlefield. Although I don't know that wasn't a mistake, because I had the first strike. So... I don't know, maybe that was a mistake. Anyway, this is totally not like the idea of playing this deck. Attacking creature, yeah. I'm gonna remove this, obviously. It's just I'm just surprised he don't have any removal, like Okay. Obviously you want to counter this. I think he's just going to quit right now. Because we're just going to remove every possible removal tool, almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's like nothing in the deck. Although I might be mistaken, and I don't really want to scroll this because I don't really care, do I? Okay. Yeah, he's still healing and stuff, but... I can't block this one, right? Oh, that's the card we... I was talking about. That's the card. Obscure Ascendancy. So this is like it's all about this card, but... <laughs> As you can see, um, I wasn't able to play this on the beginning. Okay, it's actually really funny, <laughs> funny game. <laughs> um, so I can block this one, right? I don't know what that do, but we're just going to counter spell anyway. This one is indestructible, and this one is 6-6, six, six, so we're just going to block this one, if he's going to attack with... 7. Yay! Yeah, we just want to do like this, right? Okay, and then what? Like, why he's still playing? Okay, that's no good, isn't it? 
Elspeth. So we can play the Elspeth. We actually can. Well, Life Leech. <laughs> That'd be funny though. Yeah. It's going to like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can actually Life Leech 12 life right now. So. This, that was like the whole idea of this deck. It's like we won the game because just opponent was really slow. I'm not going to say weak because I'm the weak player right now as well, but just was like really slow mo. Alrighty, so just going to jump to the deck and hopefully, well, they call this Esper Control, but it's not really the Esper Control. We're just going to call this Esper, Esper Crap. Well, Esper, Esper Ascendancy. Oh, that's that'd be like much more appropriate name because there's not really much about controlling the game, although I wish to be more than that. So I having like one mana drop, I'm not going to explain this because the, simply the reason of this being here is just because it's just one mana. Although we have the Flash Defender and Heist and we can copy target spell you control, that wasn't cast. You may choose new targets for the copy, but this is not the reason this card is here. The reason is just because it's one mana drop. For the races, the reason, again, one mana drop, although the target opponent reveals, reveals their hand, you choose a non-creature, non-card, non-land, excuse me, I was reading so fast. So we can choose a non-creature and non-land card from it, that play this card, that card, so that's really amazing card, but the whole idea of one mana drops is actually to keep them, although... Sometimes we need to use the counters or whatever, but duress is not really important at the beginning. In some cases it is, but I just want to give you the whole idea of this deck. So basically we trank on the third round, on the turn, third turn, excuse me, not round, turn, obviously. That's what I meant. Play the Obscure Ascendancy and then we're just going to curve every possible card with one mana drop, drop two mana drop, three mana drop, which is Void Rent, for example. Although I really wish to have more three mana drops, I don't really have any like idea what I really want to change at this moment. So actually I'm running four copies of Depopulate. So as you can see, it's kind of like a control. Then we have another four mana drop, which is the Wandering Emperor. Although I think like two copies is more than enough. Uh, Obscura Interceptor. And then we having like one Dawn Sky Dragon. Okay, that's good. Two Alspeth, two Sanctuary Wardens, and then we have the Emira Skull, which is the land. So one more time trying to play the Obscure Ascendancy, and then we're trying to play one mana spells, then the Negates and the Test of Talents, two mana spells, then we're having uh, a Void Rent, which is three mana spell, although I wish to add more three mana spells, maybe cut the Wandering Emperor, maybe cut one Obscure Interceptor, because there are four mana drops, there's so many four mana drops, maybe cut one Depopulate, or like cut one Depopulate and one Wandering Emperor, and then add a two three mana drops, um, just simply because we're just having only four three mana drops and this is uh, like really important to make it a curve like one mana drop, drop two mana drop, three mana drop and then we have like lots of four mana drops which is not an issue and then we're having just only three, excuse me, three yeah only three five mana drops but the thing is like five mana drops is like mid range so we usually supposed to be able to draw the five mana drop card and then what's going to happen if it's actually we are able <laughs> if we actually able to play a uh, five mana drop uh, then all our spirits as long as there are five or more soul counters on obscure ascendancy spirits you control gets plus three plus three but this is not the idea so we don't really have to be bothered to play like in the curve uh, five mana spell because that doesn't really that's not the point of this just the point of the obscure ascendancy is to destroy the game although i don't really know what's the win con <laughs> on this deck to be honest <laughs> I have no idea but the obscure ascendancy is apparently it's probably like a good uh, disruption tool so that's not really like a win con this is like a disruption tool so you can control the deck and somehow some way hopefully win with the sanctuary warden and just abuse uh, the Sanctuary Warden uh, mechanic because when we're actually attacking with the Sanctuary Warden or uh, the Sanctuary Warden getting to the battlefield, we can choose to remove the counter and this counter can be the Loyalty Counter, so we can actually choose the Elspeth or we can choose the Wandering Emperor to draw a card and to create the token on the table. But still, this is not sort of like a wind cone because Sanctuary Warden, if it's not going to be uh, protect by the counter spells. I don't really have much of them, like a six 
uh, so we can be easily exiled and basically we dead. But the thing is, because we are having the shield counters, uh, we can use Depopulate and the Sanctuary Warden is still remaining on the battlefield, so that's great. Although I think we need like another port of Carful, whatever I suppose to spell it. Port of Carful, just simply, there's supposed to be two copies here, just simply to get one on the table. Uh, to be able to mill four cards and then return a card from the graveyard. So it's supposed to be one copy of this one. And with that being said, probably we are going to remove a one plane. Like, yeah, that's the, I need to be like two copies of this card. It's not really like important, but at some point it is. So I'm just going to remove one plane. Um, hopefully. Which is going to have like a, a little bit better game. Although, like I said, it's like totally work in progress as per as per ascendancy. Oh, that's that's supposed to be a name. It's not really like a control, although it behaves like one. <laughs> so it's not a control, it is a control. Sort of I don't know. I mean it's just some casual player control ish variation. Okay, though, so we have like three mana, it's great. Like a big uh, cards, uh, which we are not really going to play them. Although our like beginning turn is turn number three, so we're just going to keep this one and just um, get the uh, swamp first. Why the swamp? Because we're having the rest of the lands, and then we obviously want to get the duress at some point, so we're having the four mana. Uh, we're having some removal tool, we're having some bouncing tool with the lifelink, so this is a really great card. Like Obscura Interceptor is really great. Um, and honestly, like white, blue and black, there is so many stuff you can do with. It's like, I don't even know how to create the decks, just simply because there is so much stuff to choose from. Well, I think with every triple colors, it's lots of stuff to, to choose with. So we're having lots of mana, which is great. Really happy about that. We're having five already, so we definitely can go with the Elspeth and do minus three. To pick the uh, some permanent, maybe, if we're lucky. We're going to draw the cards from other lands from our deck. And we're already on the six lands. That's good because we have like five mana drop, six mana drop. Uh, it's going to be four mana drop as well. So uh, what do I want to pick? The plane? Yeah, it can be another plane. Don't mind. We need two white mana anyway. Although we have one. I think like Depopulate would be like great card to get. Depopulate. Ooh, evolving wilds. Why not? Yeah, gonna pick the uh, blue. I don't know why I was so excited about the evolving wilds, but at the end of the day, more and faster mana, t faster thinner in the deck because the opponent right now he's just doing like the charity fuck all, right? So we don't really worry about this, and we can even jump this, uh, just jump back the spells. So uh, we are able to play both of these, which means we're just going to play the tap land right now. Although we can just play the Elspeth. Ah, Elspeth is no reason. Okay, so we're just going to do like that, like so. And just pressing the next turn, end of turn, and in the opponent turn, we can actually kill the Ogre. Although we might just choose to not do so. Just going to kill this Dwarf. Or whatever. I'm definitely going to play the Interceptor right now. And the Interceptor is really great if it's survive and we play, play Depopulate because we are going to draw the card from him as well. Although we can just heal for 4 uh, mana. Which is great. Or maybe the opponent's having some removal tool. Maybe not. We're having Depopulate. So Depopulate is definitely the card uh, we want to play. So... I don't know, I mean, I'm going to remove everything, right? So I'm just gonna discard the Void Rant. Um, 
then we can just decide to block something, although he might just decide to remove our card as well. Which is totally fine. Um, so what I'm trying to do right now, I'm just going to block this one because it's obviously the just one damage. Or he maybe use some burn. But that doesn't really matter. Um, because we have in depopulate, so we're just going to remove the table anyway, the whole board. And just wait for him to put more cards on the board. Uh, so we're just going to stall the game with this 4-2. Which is easy to do so. It's going to be 5-3 uh, in a minute with the first strike. So, happy days. Well, what, what do I want to put? The first strike? Nah, just going to put the Vigilance. Although, with the Vigilance, we will be dead, right? I just wonder, like, red and blue and he don't have any removal tools? Like, what's... What's going on? I don't know, I'm just going to do the Vigilance on attack. Okay. <laughs> I don't even bother to block at this point. Like, it's because why? Why should I? Like, he, if you have the removal, that's okay. Uh, although, like I said, I don't mind to play Depopulate because this is just basically just the stalling creature just to give us a little bit more time. It's not really like we're kidding with this or doing anything. It's quite funny because we're actually having six six counters, so I don't really need to do anything at this point. So this is really funny. Okay. Lots of mana. Three, four, five, six, seven mana on the table in the minute. Seven mana, six mana cards. What do we want to do with it? Like so. I think there's not really much to think about what we really want to do in this turn. So this is like free mana spell, right? T, and then we're having the rest the four for playing the play, so we're just gonna do like that. Not really much to do. And then just do plus one and just do the submit zero to be able to put the counter. <coughs> we don't mind the uh, loyal counters, do we? And right now, the one mana drop will be great. But like I said, this deck is maybe it's not really like curved enough to the obscure ascendancy. But this is just sort of like a disruption tool. I had uh, like one game yesterday and was actually working fine. Oh, there we go. First counter, first spirit. So the duress value, although on the beginning is great because we can see the hand, but the thing is like, I think right now is like a, the biggest uh, value from it because we're just going to re remove the removal, right? Hopefully. Um, yeah, we're just going to resolve this one because this card just drawing the cards, right? So, and he's tapped right now anyway. So we don't really have anything else to remove than the this card, I don't know what to do, and <laughs> like, I don't really care, do I? Um, uh, the Sanctuary Warden. And just draw the extra card. I'm just going to target this and just do like plus one. 
to what really I think like this is going to be a great choice let's do the vigilance okay I don't know what's the opponent decks or, or about, like, but it's like massive throning for me, like nothing happening. <clears throat> it's all about some dungeon and dragons, right? Throwing the dice and stuff. I mean, do we really care? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, actually, some crazy stuff going on. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on, like, why the fuck he's just having so many? It's what? Well, 8 damage? Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's what I told her that on the end of the turn. Okay, whatever. It's gonna do like so. Do another spirit. Okay, nothing on the hand to remove. A shame. Ah, uh, don't have the black mana. No good, isn't it? Oh well. Okay. Can you draw another card? And attack. We can play the land. That's why not. Uh, the end of the turn. Okay, so there's. I mean, there's going to cycle the towers. Um, might even do so right now. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of inconvenient, but what can I say? Whenever you roll, roll one or more dice, playing and minus until the end of turn. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because he don't really have the damage on the table, we can just lively shock. It's like, um, see the game. Already see the game. I mean, the reason I just winning the games is just because the opponents just, I don't know. Like, they're really slow. Okay, that's probably, I'm going to lose this one. I'm not saying, like, this deck is, like, really rubbish, but definitely it's not yet. Good. Not good enough yet. Oh, that's what I meant. Okay, free mana, yep. 
This is going to be Obscure Ascendancy game. Well, it seems like so. What do we need? We need the black. We need the black. We need the black. It's going to draw the, the black. Although we have the mana fixing, but I uh, really want to start with the swamp. <gasps> or maybe I should choose the white one. Anyway. Okay, free mana. You know what's going to happen right now. We're just not going to draw any f fucking lands. <laughs> and it's white winning. Fuck me. And so we need like two white and then the depopulate because we like really fucked. I mean, not yet, but really, really soon. We fucked soon. Soon enough. Yeah. You see, one simple mistake and that might be just like cost me the game because, well, we don't have the depopulate, but I think it's like if that will be white, then we're having like two whites from the Raffine Tower, right? So I don't really need that black. Why the fuck you choose the black? I don't know. I mean, just <laughs> that's me. I mean, I don't really care. I'm just playing casually after work a little bit and like our daily, so why the fuck am I supposed to stress about this? I don't really need to do it. Although, I don't mind to win the game. And it doesn't really seem like we can do this. Um. Okay, we will see. I mean, end of turn, we have indeed two removals. So it's not that bad. From werewolves, protection from werewolves. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. On each creature you control, creature should control get for each follow counter. I mean, I'm just going to remove this one, fuck it. Okay. Need white mana, and I need the uh, depopulate. Without depopulate, we fucked. Like, really fucked. I am fucked. Okay. Yeah. Next. End of turn. So, either the Void Rant or the Test of Talents. But I think he's just going to play the creature, right? Just going to remove this free free. Um, because that's sort of nasty, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to remove this one anyway. Because it's going to be too big. 5-5. Five, five. Nope. Okay. Depot pull out. Yeah, we we need to, and then we don't. Okay, can't really play this. Uh, next, and uh, the end of turn, and the Elspeth doesn't really do anything. Like we can play it, but then that will do like nothing. And to actually be able to play this properly, we first supposed to play the Obscura and then the Elspeth. Right? Am I right? No, we just can have the. You may put a permanent card with mana value three or less from among them onto the battlefield with a shield counter on. Okay, I'm just going to bounce this because well, there's nothing else to bounce, right? I'm just going to do like so and just bounce back. Okay, there you go again. Okay. And now he's thinking where to put the counter on. Okay. Yeah, an attack for one. 
<laughs> Seriously? Um, I'm gonna play the Evolving Wilds for... I don't know, white mana, right? Do we? I'm just gonna play like this. And then we have two mana open. We can actually attack to get the life back. Which is really great, right? Okay, we're on 17. That will do. With the counter spell. Although it's probably going to be a creature, right? Yep. So we're not dead yet, I suppose so, or assume so, but we really need the populate right now. Oh, actually grab my creature. That was a very good play of me attacking. We're just going to survive a round. And if it's not going to be depopulate, we fucked. And usually it's not. Because why? Should be, right? Yeah, it's 10 damage on the table. We can get like uh, 2 life, so it's going to be like 8. There's nothing more to do. Although, maybe. No. Okay, though. <laughs> Shit happens, right? The Wandering Emperor. I think like 3 copies is. One too many. We need to cut one. Let's do some stuff. We need to edit something. Also, the edit the name because this is not like the Esper control. This is like some Esper ascendancy. Nope. This band control is also ascendancy, right? All of this band actually felt like really controlling the game all the time. Void rent. Um, like three copies is enough. Two copies is enough. Depopulate. Well, I'm playing four copies and it had any, right? That's a shame. What can I craft? Five fires, five, five mythics. I want to craft something. Feel like so. Feel like I want to craft something. Nope, nope. Standard. Latest. Streets. Uh, three mana cards. We're looking for three mana cards. Actually, I can go like this, and the rest is going to rotate out on rotate out on September. So, uh, looking free mana, free mana cards only. Um, rare and mythics only as well. well actually, I have something like for free mana. With the lifelink? Creature card with mana value 2 or less. Ah, we don't really have any of those cards, do we? This is not bad, right? That should like better for a basic playing card if you let put into your hand and then shuffle. Uh, uh, we can discard the card and put it to mana, but we don't have anything like that. And then we exciting the saga, and then we having the uh, vigilance creature. So this is not really bad. And it's a free mana card. So this is like really a good card, isn't it? Human Ninja. 
Whenever you activate a ninjutsu ability, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. This ability triggers only once each turn. Each creature card in your hand has ninjutsu. Okay. Top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand. I'm just gonna take this one, whatever, okay. <laughs> ah. Actually, I want to craft something, but this seems like not bad cards. And they are free mana drops both, so... Why not? That's okay. Going to be the last game for today. 40 minutes. I think I can play two. I think I can play two games. Okay, though. Two mana open with really nice counter spells. Although the counter spells for the aggro decks meaning shit. Uh, I will still start with it. I mean, the opening cast is sort of like crap because we need the free mana, although hopefully we're going to get another land. Yeah, and right now we're having Deep Light. Obviously, the we're not going to have any lands, but we are going to have like nice control hand. Okay, we have something. That's not bad. Um, just going to play like that to be able to counter something. If it's going to be something played to counter. And is it? Seems like he's white mini or the, maybe the control. I think it's the control. I think like two to three copies of this. It would be great here. Restoration. Um, but uh, well, what can I say? So, it's going to play like so. Grab the land. Yeah, I might craft this like another copy. Or maybe one is more than enough. <laughs> we have like four. I have like eight fixing lands, right? So we can fetch for the for the normal lands. But this is still a really nice addition because we are going to have the creature after all, so that's great. Uh, there's no reason to play depopulate yet. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to play the tap land right now. Let's play this. Then actually we can go with Depopulate. Or not yet. No, we're still going to play Obscure Ascendancy. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, they need to be Depopulate <laughs> because we're dead then, if not. That's a shame, we're having the creature now. Maybe we're just going to stall the game then. Yeah, we're just going to stall it now. Arr! Yeah, I had the idea I like to play another Obscure Ascendancy and then this blocker on the flash, but then we we are playing this blocker, we're going to trigger the both Obscuras Ascendancy. So uh, we're just going to play Depopulate right now. Yeah, it's going to play deeper plays right now. Uh, just next and end of turn. Another ascendancy and then one mana drop to trigger both.
Yeah, we just do like that. At the beginning of each end step, if you gain four or more life this turn, create a four four white angel creature token with flying and vigilance. Okay. That's really crap, isn't it? Um Yeah, just do like that. It doesn't really matter what he is going to choose because we can almost pay for everything next turn. Although depopulate is not really that important. I mean, we need to play Depopulate, right? <clears throat> yeah. I really wish to have like one mana open to play two mana spawn, then we're just going to trigger both Ascendancies to get Spirits. Not going to happen. Yeah. Um. Okay. Left mana open for the counter spell. Probably it's a land or it's a creature. Oh, actually, it's a spell. How exciting. For me, at least. There's going to be more of those. It's only one. Oh, well, that's the graveyard. So that's the one which we remove. Counter, whatever. Um, so he can attack right now. Obviously. Um... I wanna block. Do I need to block? I don't need to, do I? Let's play like that. Oh, just going to attack with two. And then leave one blocker, right? If I have any creature I can fish for, not really. Um. It's definitely will play some creature, but I have like idea to basically remove the table. Because we're just going to block and it's going to be a remove anyway, right? So just going to attack with both. I'm just going to play Depopulate. Yeah, still one mana off. Or two lands. I mean, he don't have anything, just simply because he's just waiting so long. And just mana. We don't have any mana. That's a shame. So we need to play free mana spell.
Although we can just check a uh, hand. <laughs> That's what I thought. Because he wasn't playing anything. Uh, can I pay the value? Six. Uh, missing one. Okay. Next turn then. gonna crack sacrifice this Satoru Yumezawa to do that ninjutsu spells so he's going to play then Just boring, so I'm just going to bounce this. me right now maybe ah. not really okay so just going to do like so yay finally the free mana spell I wonder how many lands this guy has. Uh, like, still. He's. <laughs> st <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> he's still hoping for winning the game or what? Like, that's probably the last one is the land as well. 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 lands. That's good. That's good. I really need like a 4 mana spell, do I? I mean, I don't really need anything. I'm just going to do like so. <gasps> we can do the ninjutsu! Top 3 cards of your library. For 4 mana. And then we don't have a mana to actually play the spell. So, yes, but no. Okay, we're just gonna draw the card anyway. Yay, and play the land because we want to play the land. Okay. This is a really strange game again, just simply because if somebody having like, I don't know, five, four lands on the hand and nothing on the board, just quitting the game. Uh, I'm just playing the control, so I usually am playing till end, just simply because we might win. Sometimes. Okay, we're just gonna play another game. I think that Obscura Ascendancy is not a bad card, but supposed to be four copies, not three, to get this always on the opening hand. And we probably supposed to play around like an aggro deck. 
that's not really controlling anything. That's I think that's how it's supposed to be played because I'm sort of playing the control with the card, which probably will be better fit for the aggro. Anyway, I really want to play <laughs> one more game. It's the longest session of Magic the Gathering, me playing. 55 minutes. Excuse me, I was uh, sealed, right? Two hours. I played two hours sealed. Okay, though, we'll see how it goes. Seems like really nice hand. Definitely go with the tap land first. Then we have two mana open for the negate, uh, followed by the plane and followed by two obscure ascendancy, and then you're just going to play this one mana drop to trigger both. So there we go. And next, uh, the end of turn. Nothing going on. Okay, we're just gonna go like so. Nothing to really to wait for. It's gonna crack with another and another. Although the faster we are going to get this card is even better though, but I think we're just gonna go like a second the ascendancy and then... So that's why it's supposed to be four copies of this, to even boost more. To even boost more and then do like really crazy mana curve for it. Okay, I'm having depopulates. Depopulates are great, right? Um... We don't really want to do anything. Like totally nothing, just wait. What's that do? First look a little bit, touch. okay, okay, whatever, um, just, yeah. So... We're just going to play the land. What we'll do? This one? Play like so and like so. <gasps> I think I fucked up a little bit. Just simply because that's our free mana drop, right? Okay, let me fuck it. We'll see. A little bit greedy, I know. Hopefully it's not going to deal more than 6 damage. And we, he will play some creature card. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's it. 6 damage. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. That's not a 6 damage. That's like we fucking almost dead. Um... Okay. It's 14 damage. But 14 damage is still good, right? <clears throat> you wanna block it? I mean, I can just trigger the Ascendancy, but then it won't be a fun. We don't wanna do this. I mean, I don't wanna do like that, do I? 14 damage, okay, just go with it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Unless he have something to... Add, but he didn't, so easy. Okay, my turn. My turn it is. Uh, nope. And like so, uh, like that. I can keep the negate, right? If he really wanna play something and then play the this on the on his end of the turn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like that. Uh, is a creature, righty. Uh, 
four, five, six, seven mana. And uh, it's a dragon and it's a negate. Open. Negate really important. Hopefully, fingers crossed, he's not going to play anything right now so I can actually negate something. To do the two mana spell in order to trigger the spirits. There's going to be another Kishra on the table. Will be fine. I think we're controlling the game right now. <clears throat> Although I really need like uh, some card draw. Dawn Sky will do. We have like a decent blocker with the possibility to draw something. So is it going to attack? Okay, it's going to echo with this. Oh, with that actually. Oh, fuck me. I didn't realize that. Or with that or not? It's a first strike. So he's going to attack and kill one. And I just don't get it. Like fucking first strike. So he can kill 20, 20 minions because it's a first strike. What the fuck? I think it's supposed to just kill the first one with the first strike and then second supposed to be fucking alive, right? Retarded mechanic. Okay. Need to play some counter spell. I mean, you just need to play some spells so I can counter the spells, sorry guys. So, I mean, the first strike, I thought like a first strike is just the first strike and then... We're good, right? So we're dead because of the land. How exciting. Jesus. How the fuck I lost this game? Oh, wait. We might still get something. Well, I don't have any flyers, right? Do I? No. Yeah, fuck it. Okay, that was it. Have enough. <laughs> uh. Still doesn't work like I wish to be. Oh, I'll well, probably I need to remove those two cards and then put something else again. Maybe like one mana drops or something which is like kind of useful. So I will check this and probably play some. Uh, the same deck with some changes to it. But, uh, other than that, I don't know. Okie doke. Thanks, guys, for watching. Obscure Ascendancy. Maybe add another copy of Ascendancy and one mana drop. We might actually those spirits be able to play fast faster. I don't know. I mean, there's like thousands of questions and not really any answers to it. Like what I really want to change. It's all about the drawing the cards as well. Maybe I'm just supposed to have something like two or three cards to draw extra cards, and that will just. That'll be it. That'll be like uh, solving the problems. Getting two cards with drawing the cards. Two. Or the people, it seems like it's still two mana. Yeah, I would try to do something for tomorrow and probably it's going to be a much better game. So that's, that's it for now and I'll see you guys tomorrow.